You're retarded. No, it's okay that Boy and Gazette said it. So why can't I? It's fine. But it's not fine. It's not okay. That word retarded you misuse every day is actually a medical term. You used to classify someone with a mental disability. Yet that word has been misused so much that even the dictionary has to define the offensive meaning of it. We use people as a basis to dictate whether something is okay to say instead of judging based on our own morals and values. See that girl right there? The one you just called fat? She's been starving herself and has lost over 30 pounds. The one you just called stupid for getting that question wrong? He has a learning disability, so it's hard for him to understand as quickly as you. The girl you just called ugly just because she puts mascara on every day? She spent a long time putting on makeup just to feel okay. The boy you just called a baby? You would be crying too if you just lost a loved one. People put on a facade to numb the pain, but you make it even harder for them to cope with the hurtful words you display. This generation has to change. Yes, yes, I get it. Sometimes it's hard to control the words we say, especially in the heat of the moment. But that doesn't make it all right. That doesn't make it acceptable. That doesn't change the idea of how much power we have in that muscle we call a tongue. But once we start to use our words for better use, once we start to say, that's not okay to that rude response, that's not all right to that hurtful comment, we are one step closer to change. One step closer for that boy you called stupid to feel smarter. One step closer for that girl you called ugly to feel beautiful one step closer for that boy you called a baby to feel happier. So today, I hope to leave you with another perspective on how the words we speak can affect us as a collective. Once we decide to stand against the rudeness and use our incentive, then, and only then, will we be closer to reaching our objective.